Louisiana Life Sciences is working on treatments for multiple sclerosis as well as Alzheimer's. And with me is Dr. Matthew Davis, the chief medical officer, to explain what the company is doing uh, in these fields and improving methods of applications uh, really for immunotherapy. So I'll let you kind of give us an overview of what Tiziana is doing exactly. Well, thank you for having me on. This is really exciting. What we're doing is we're taking antibodies, and antibodies are normally given either intravenously or injected, and we're giving them via nasal spray. And we are actually affecting the central nervous system. So we're looking at their effects, not only in multiple sclerosis, but in Alzheimer's. And it's very exciting research. Now, the nasal application is that easier for people um, or, uh, to uh, who have uh, these afflictions to be able to take nasally versus, you know, whatever's available now? We believe that not only is it going to be easier to take, we also believe that since the antibody is going directly to the cervical lymph node and having its action there, instead of going throughout the entire body, we're hopeful to show that the actual side effect profile is going to improve. Yeah. And, and you talked a little bit about how you're kind of working on inflammation um, as well as some of the other treatments, uh, particularly for Alzheimer's and, and multiple sclerosis as well. So explain how this fits into the whole treatment ecosystem. Well, two ways of looking at it. For Alzheimer's, people are correctly trying to attack the plaque, the amyloid plaque, which is considered one of the root causes of Alzheimer's. We're looking at the inflammatory process, which is also occurring because of the presence of this protein in the brain. So we believe that we could have a complementary way of treating Alzheimer's. In addition, multiple sclerosis, basically the brain is attacking itself. And we believe that the anti-inflammatory process that intranasal feralimab has will be beneficial for patients with Alzheimer's and multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. And these are, uh, you know, affect older people in, in general, and as well as cancer. Uh, are these, uh, what are you doing to make things easier for senior citizens that find themselves affected by this? Well, there's a couple ways that we're doing this. So these drugs are in clinical trial. So one of the things we're going to do is make sure we have a concierge service so that people can go to the facility, be taken, and partake in the clinical trial. We're also trying to allow for in-home use of these products during the clinical trial. And lastly, with the FDA's partnership, we have an expanded access program that we currently have in multiple sclerosis. And this is allowing patients right now, the Brigham and Woman, to come in and have treatment with our product with multiple sclerosis. So when you combine this together from making clinical trials easier for the elderly, trying to have in-home use during these clinical trials and the expanded access program, we think that this makes it easier for the elderly population. Mm -hmm. And you explain clinical trials. So where are they in the whole FDA and clinical trial process? Well, we're expecting next month in June to submit our IND for Alzheimer's and then start our clinical trials in Alzheimer's. In addition, we are going to start our investigator meeting for our phase 2A trial for multiple sclerosis in Q3 of this year. So we are imminently starting these trials. Mm. And best case scenario, when might these be marketable to physicians? Well, these trials have to pass the phase 2A and phase okay. 2B process. And the phase 2A should be a very quick read. So we're looking at a three-month surrogate outcome for that, and then we'll go into the clinicals for phase two. So it's going to take a phase two base. So it's going to take a little while, but we're doing everything we can to try to get access for patients for these medication and work in conjunction with our regulator to have these products reviewed appropriately. Now, what have been some memorable results that you have seen from these treatments so far? There's one that comes to mind. And there's one patient who has multiple sclerosis who can continue to decline. And the gentleman needed a cane to walk. And to walk 100 meters, needed a cane. So after one year of open label uh, access to intranasal foralimab, the gentleman was able to walk not only 100 meters, but 200 meters without a cane. And for the last six months, he's returned to work. And this is why we do what we do. It's incredibly exciting. Yeah, well, and that's certainly encouraging and 
it makes all the hard work worth it when you see a result like that. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Dr. Davis, thank you so much. Um, keep us posted as you go through all the clinical trials and let us know how, how you progress. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. 